Iran has vowed revenge following an airstrike it says Israel is behind. The strike killed a pair of Iranian military commanders and several other officials when it allegedly leveled Iran's consulate in Damascus, Syria. The incident may have widespread ramifications, not just for Israel, but the U.S. as well. The Israeli military claims Iran is lying about the building that was hit. An IDF spokesperson said the structure was being used to house Quds forces and was disguised as a civilian building. One of the Iranian commanders killed in the airstrike reportedly managed a weapons operation smuggling arms into Syria. One Israeli analyst warned Iran could be laying the groundwork to strike Israeli diplomatic posts around the world, which could include the United States. However, a direct conflict with the U.S. is not what Tehran wants. Iran may instead engage in revenge through proxies, including militias in Syria or Houthis in Yemen. Iran's foreign ministry spokesperson warned the country has the right to take reciprocal measures and will decide the type of response and punishment against the aggressor. And the country's foreign minister also put the U.S. on notice for its support of Israel, saying the United States should be answerable. Protesters in Tehran have burned Israeli and American flags in response to the airstrike. Israel's defense minister responded to Iran's warning, saying the price for action against Israel will be a heavy one. Meanwhile, the U.N. secretary is urging all sides to show restraint, fearing a more widespread conflict.